Hello everyone, this is Jorge15, and I'm going to show you this. A PlayStation Network card. You can't see it clearly because it's not, it's not bright enough here, but you use these cards in the store that depending on what it says. For example, this is a $20 card US. So that means that you can only use it in the store only in the US. I don't know how the Canadian cards work or any other cards. But yen can be used in Japan. Hong Kong dollars, Hong Kong. Mm. If they ha and I think Europe still uses the euros, so it's kind of hard to convert the money to that exact country. Now, what you do, but since this is a twenty dollar coin, there's and there's also one other. There's also a. a um, $50 card, but I wish that we had a more scratch gently with coin scratch I don't know what the other one says Scratch on gently with coin. So that means if you were to scratch this off with a coin, like a, if you're not very good at this scratch off, then. And here, with, then I, I recommend that you use a coin with it for the scratching off, for the scratch off. Now, the bad part of these codes can only be used once. The companies that made this are fast card, I believe. Fast card and Sony. But Sony, however. But they need to make more because they are starting to not be available. So I re if these do expire, please comment. I recommend you comment on this. Oh, one more note. That it says no value until active until activation at register. It's, if anyone knows what that means, then please comment on my channel. Oh, down here is the code. You scratch off for a code. But this right here, I think it goes to to the register. But this right here, these are the, this is a serial number, so don't mistake it as the code. The code is on the scratch off. It will be separated by some hyphens. Now the code is really hard to tell if you type it incorrectly. So make sure that you actually I recommend you save these in case you do want to use them 
Right, let's say you don't have a PSN account. You must be 18 to get one. 21 if you live in Argentina. So save these cards until then. But I don't think if you save them, then I they will they might expire. Down here is a game that I don't even know. They even have the fifty dollar cards. But here is how it works: twenty dollar cards cost well, twenty dollars. Fifty dollar cards cost fifty dollars. So basically, you're gonna have to decide between one or, the, or another. So, but I hope that they come out with with card with bigger cards. Because twenty and fifty are not enough. But I think I uh, but I barely doubt they're gonna come out with one. Since everything in the store only ranges from, from up to that range from I believe from to forty dollars. I believe that's how much how much the games would cost. Those are like if I'm incorrect then at least like that's only if you add up all the categories. Like, I don't recommend you sp don't spend money unless there's something you really need. Like, for instance, suppose you want a game so badly. But, if you, so basically. You can even go. You can go all the way up to one hundred and fifty, hundred fifty dollars. So make sure you save up a lot of money. You can get lots of cards. Now, if anyone has a code that they can email me or pre or PM me via private message, but make sure the code is not used. Like I know there are some sites, but be careful. But I don't trust any free prize site. Cause sometimes I believe it's a scam. Cause they try to scam you sometimes. Like for instance, sometimes they will give you a code that's already been used. So make sure that you go to a reliable site. I recommend you just buy cards. But also I think some price sites are good. Summer is coming up soon. My technical support store is going to be ready. So basically, so give me ideas. But make sure it has something to that's extremely easy. Now the technical support show will not begin right away. You're going to have to wait until, until, until the vid until I can have time to do it. it. Now, for this show, it's mostly going to be of the PSP technical support, like how to install firmware and how to get games to work. So, if we, so please comment on any ideas you would want. To to have help on and I will do it it's going to help the people with PSP PS3 and a little bit of some computer so make so watch out for the technical support show appearing in June this is Jorge 15 and thanks for watching please subscribe and comment and rate my video. And one more thing. No negative no negative feedback. I want good feedback from every from the YouTube community community. 
So, and also, get me some pointers on technical support shows of what you in the near future. When a new firmware comes out, I'll tell you how to install it. So until then, this is Hohei15, signing off.